What is going on YouTube? The Blu-ray King back again for another Blu-ray mission. Today, we got a couple of things coming out. The big release is American Sniper and it comes in a steel book. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Bradley Cooper because the first movie I ever saw Bradley Cooper in was Wedding Crashers. He was a fucking asshole in that movie. So it kind of stuck around each movie that he's been in since. But he's still been in some pretty good stuff. I thought Limitless was pretty cool. I did like The Hangover, but he wasn't my favorite character. I would say Rocket is the only performance of his that I really enjoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up American Sniper. Everybody's been saying it's really good. It's a steel book. We also got Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Real big fan of the first movie. I did not think a movie about a hot tub time machine would be that hilarious. Also on my list that comes out today, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. I watched this movie a lot when I was a kid. I don't think I've seen it probably since I was about 9 or 10 years old. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And I was looking online. I saw that Walmart drops a bunch of random ass slip covers today. So I'm going to go ahead and check those out. Maybe pick up a couple if they're cool. And I also heard some rumblings that the Viva Metal Boxes might have some new shit out at Best Buy. Why I'm just now hearing about this, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Rush out of Walmart did absolutely nothing. Their movie section is a shell of its former self. Mission, Mission Log. Fresh out of Best Buy. They got a bunch of metal packs and steel books and Viva metal box in there. I was just overwhelmed with how much shit they had. They had all of the Target exclusive X-Men metal packs. They had a bunch of their older steel books and then they had a bunch of new Viva metal boxes. I picked up a couple of them. They had some weird ones like Tora 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 MASH. I, I never liked MASH. I never liked the show. I never liked the movie. I never liked the legacy. Here we are back at the house. So you saw inside of Best Buy there, all the different steel books that they had. Viva Metal Box, Resurrected from the Dead, I was all over those. Commando. Mad Max. Baseballs. In case you guys didn't know, Viva Metal Box was an alternative to the Steel Book a couple of years ago. Disney was releasing them at Best Buy as like a pre-order bonus. So you put seven dollars and fifty cents down. You get to keep the case, and that went towards the movie when you picked it up. So really, in the long run, the case ended up being free. So what happened was, Steel Book sued Viva Metal Box because they were like, yeah, you know, your shit is too much like our shit. So they haven't been around for like two years. They have been in China. There was a couple of Chinese exclusive, Let the Bullets Fly, Farewell My Concubine. These are the first ones to be released here in the United States since I believe 2012. You can just feel the quality in them. Okay, I was also able to secure Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Like I said, I was a big fan of the, the first movie. Definitely excited to check it out. I'm pretty sure it won't top the first one, but I like the characters. What's going on with Motley Lou? I want to know. And last, I had a stop at Target and I picked up American Sniper.
says right back here, the year's most extraordinary film. And it's directed by Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, all the movies I've seen directed by him are pretty fucking good. We went out and we got everything except Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. I just, I couldn't find it. So we're going to have to put it on next week's mission. So until the next time I see you, stay true and stay blue. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight.